Crispy Coil. What's going on, guys? Oh, my God. As you can see, I got a couple boxes here. Yeah, dude, it's Crispy Coil, man. You're in the lab right now. I'm about to put some stuff on eBay. I figure I would let the... Uh, I would let the crispy maniacs look at it first, you know what I'm saying? All the subs, let everybody take a look, see what's going on. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Got some knobs playing in the background, all crazy. Turn that down a little bit. Yeah, dude, it's crispy, man. Yo, 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 real quick. I was going through my uh, <clears throat> the vault real quick, and uh, I realized that I have way too many uh, any shoes, and um, I'm running out of room, and that's not even cool at all. Like, not trying to brag or nothing, but I, I really got to sell some. I'm never going to wear these. And, uh, yeah, dude, trying to hook other people up that maybe might, you know, like, enjoy them or whatever. But I found this. It was sitting over by my lamp. I haven't seen it in so long. I mean, it's been there the whole time, but brush in can. <laughs> this is an oldie but a goodie. It's a mop. You put the ink right in here. All my graph heads know about these joints. But this is one that I bought. I think my, my buddy gave it to me, but, uh... You get like some pilot ink, uh, you know, not like a pen, like permanent ink. Anyway, or you're some, you know, some etch, whatever, you, whatever, uh, whatever you might say. But uh, yeah, dude, them joints right there are crazy. Anyway, I don't do that stuff anymore. But if I did, I try to get in a magazine like this, Graphitism. Just found this the other day in the crib. How awesome. Anyway, little graffiti mag right there. You know, I, sh I show you guys everything, dude. That picture right there is actually by a graffiti artist, Askew. Anyway, I used to be heavy in the graph until I got locked. And, uh, yeah, dude, all right. So, real quick, dude, this is going to go real fast. For sale, man, I'm giving these away, dude. Kobe 4, 11 and a half, draft day, DS. That ill iridescent midsole, June 11, 96. Same thing on the inside. You got them ill, uh, like, honeycomb laces, kept in a cool environment, smoke-free environment. I quit smoking all things, including Sherm. It's like, <laughs> ah, dude. Nah, but, uh, these right here are size 12, man. I wore these. This is the only pair that are worn. This is an old, old-school blazer low. Leather insides. It's like the athletic department. That's what it says on there. If I can find a date... These are 0, 0, 06, size 12. Small toe crease, dude. Make an offer on these, dude. Real, real fucking cheap, dude. Uh, the Kobe's, dude. Retails 120. I'll do uh, 120 shipped. That's free shipping retail. I paid way more than that. 11 and a half. Air Stab Premiums. This is for all my uh, my my trainer heads. These joints are amazing. You have that like furry uh, swoosh right here. You have a real crazy like rough. I don't even know what kind of material that is, but it's really nice. Leather, leather toe cap, leather everything. And uh, on the insole, I think these were like from a samurai pack or something like that, but. I don't know what the fuck is on is going on with these insoles, but it has a really nice uh, nice insole, a lot of cushioning. But uh, yeah, dude, that's for them. Those are a eleven and a half. Uh, I'm not trying to get a bunch of money on them. Uh, retail, dude. Uh, you know what I mean? Hundred bucks plus shipping. Uh, nah, dude, hundred bucks shipped. Whatever, dude. Um, Air Jordan Alpha 1, size 12. Never wore these, probably never will. Tinker Hatfield edition, dude. These are 125 retail. I love that clear sole. That's why I bought them. Fucking, uh, dude, you tell me, man. Um, I'm not trying to, to hit anybody in the head with the bat. You know what I'm saying? 100 bucks. Shipped. That's $85, basically, with, uh, with the shipping. It's 15 so. Jordan 6 ring, size 11 and a half, with the paper all crazy. But, uh, yeah, this is the Concord edition. I have Concords now. And I was going to wear these and keep the Concords, but I, I don't need them. I mean, these have been bagged, 100% dead stock. Um, I just don't feel like going through the hassle of eBay, fees, and all that other stuff, man. I'd rather hook somebody up. Retail, 150 125 shipped. 
All right, dude. So all that sales stuff is out the way. You have any questions? Holler back. I just said holler back. Whoa! I promised myself I would never say that, dude. Yo, scratch that last comment, dude. Just hit me up on the comments, guy. Or not on the comments. Hit me up on a message. Uh, crispy, 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 crispy. Uh, uh. All right, dude. Now it's the pickup. Now it's the pickup. Now it's the pickup. Represent, represent. Oh my God, guys. Where is Crispy going with this right now, dude? My dog Jake, he's downstairs. Ah! Uh, seven bucks. These go with the uh, the Knicks. Craziness. These shorts right here. Shout out to my man Joe, New Jersey faux life. Love these shorts, dude. So comfortable. Nike Sportswear. They're like fifty bucks, but you can get them on sale. Everything's high quality. Really nice strings. Ultra comfortable, dude, when you just want to max out and relax out. <clears throat> Alright, dude. Here's the package right here. Big shout out to uh, to Pearl and the Young Bull Bruce and um, everybody else over there at PYS.com. Now, guys, the reason I got knives on in the background is because I'm taking it back to 96. 96, I was 16 years old. Picture Crispy Coil, 16. Rocking Carhartt. You know what I mean? My wet drinking marijuana, smoking street dweller. Yeah, but uh, at the time, man, I was heavy into all kinds of stuff, dude. Zannies, wilding out. <clears throat> Not really proud of it, but, uh, you know, that's how I was, dude. I was a renegade when I was a young buck. I was a little bit nuts, and uh, all my boys were. But um, we grew up in Philly, um, and, uh, you know what I mean? Sneakers were a main part of my life, but not my friends. But uh, Iverson was for all of us. When Iverson was in Georgetown... Um, Jordan was still really popular, but he was getting older, you know what I mean? Um, when we got the first pick and Pat Croce went ape shit on TV, dude, I was like, no, he didn't. And sure enough, he did. And um, we got the number one pick, dude, Iverson. When they drafted him, it was like a whole breath of fresh air to Philly. He came in with that little mini afro, and uh, he went from rocking the 11s to rocking these. Now, pick your shoes. Um, why is there a sticker over the label? And why does my thing say Steven? Yo, Steven, if you're watching this, what up, fam? But, um, yeah, dude, Reebok box. Hey, yeah, guys, the R has been dropped. Yeah, dude, it's been like that for, like, eons. And, um, anybody else have this sticker in theirs? But, uh, got the Reebok paper. You got the Pick Your Shoes uh, little sticker. Now... I've been hitting up my man Snacks, Throwback King, for a minute, trying to get him to sell me one, to come off one of his pairs, and that wasn't cracking, dude, that's his favorite player, mine too, I understand completely, I understand why you didn't sell me them, dude, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have either, you know what I'm saying, but uh, big ups to, uh, to Throwback King, man, he's been waiting for this video forever, Nightwing had a real dope video on these, man, uh, gotta show some love to the dude, Nightwing, always has, has some great uh, informative videos, but one of the things that he pointed out that not a lot of other heads did was the insole on these. This insole is awesome, man. You have the shock pad. You got, oh, it's so comfortable. You can use this on all your other shoes. Look how, look how flimsy this is right here. It's like a diving board. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm not going to get into a review because we all did. I mean, <laughs> we all did. Because a lot of people already did. But this jersey right here, I seen this on uh, eBay a while ago, man. And, um, it's a 96.97. The rookie campaign. When I saw this, man, I, I bought it just on the strength that I would one day get these. This is before I knew they were going to retro. This is before any of that. And uh, what I was just going to say, man, is if you want a shoe bad enough, man, put your mind to it. You know what I mean? I knew one way or the other that Crispy would have this, that I would that I would marinate in the cut for a little bit, like iodine. I would just lay back in the cut, dude, and then one day I would have these. Um... And, uh, and, dude, it came true, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I finally got these shoes. It's like, a, oh, my God, I love them so much. Uh, in Philly, these came out with the pearl toe here. Uh, I think they came out in suede everywhere else, but I remember I had these. And the blue, the puffer blue joints that are coming out. I can't wait for them, too, man. But I got lucky. Um, pack your shoes. Uh, they went out of pocket and sold, like, ultra too many pairs. But um, it is what it is, man. I'm, I'm just fortunate to get one. And I'm really happy that I did, man. And uh, uh, it's like a completion. I, I'm, I'm so happy that I got these, man. But uh, you know what I mean? About Allen Iverson, man. He just like, 
<laughs> dude, I loved him, dude. I think he should get another chance. When he was at the game the other day, man, he still looked like he could play. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not saying definitely or not, but I think he could play. And um, the hype over these was insane. The hype Beastie Boys came out in full effect, dude. You know what I mean? Straight up homecoming queen herbs. I, I just don't know what it was all about, but uh, the Herberts were out in full of feezy. But uh, yeah, dude, that's neither here nor there. Um, I want to send shout outs real quick to everybody that I talk to on a daily basis, man. Uh, my boy Fomer, man. Awesome dude, man. Holds it down down in Florida. My man T. Lawrence, Tom. What up? Uh, Joe, New Jersey for life. My man Snacks. My man Logan J. Uh, these are just cats that I, that I kick it with on a regular basis and, and talk to. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what it's about, man. Forging relationships and, 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 and linking up with other dudes that got the same kind of, you know, shit in common. It ain't hard to tell. Like Shaquille holds a bill. Vocabulary spills, I'm ill. Two fingers, Philadelphia. Questions finally in the den. Guys, if you want any of these kicks, work with me. You know what I'm saying? I need to make room. So, my loss, your gain. All right, guys. Crispy rocks well. What's up, Jake? Where you at, dude? Fish grease. All day. Every day. <laughs> uh.